board let SACRT be your free ride to get your vaccine. SACRT has extended their free transit rides to scheduled COVID-19 appointments with the community in mind. Here with details on how it all works and what else they have in store as more businesses start to reopen is Jessica Gonzalez with SACRT. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. So tell us about how SACRT got involved in free rides to COVID-19 vaccine locations. Well, safety has been our number one priority for our employees and our riders since the beginning of the pandemic. And this was really the next best thing for us to make sure our community members are getting vaccinated. We wanted to be able to offer those free rides to those vaccine locations and help slow the spread. Um, we worked with Sacramento County on this. We had previously worked on free rides to get people to vote locations. So this was really that next best, best step for us. And now you're extending those offers for free rides for the vaccination appointments, correct? We are. We just announced on Tuesday that we are extending through the end of July. Um, and we still have the possibility to keep that going if the need is there. We saw in the first two months that we offered the free rides, we had 2,000 people take advantage of free rides to COVID-19 vaccine locations. Well, that's good to hear. Now, which transit services are included and how can someone ride for free to their COVID-19 vaccine appointment? Yeah, really everything we operate within our region. So that's our fixed route bus, our light rail on demand transit service. I'm um, oh, sorry, our smart ride on demand transit service, um, light rail trains, and also SAC Artigo paratransit services. And to ride free, really all you need is to show proof of your appointment. So that could be something you printed out. That could be an appointment on your cell phone, a text message, anything showing the date of your vaccine appointment. All right. And how long ago again um, are these rides going to be offered? Again, we've extended it through the end of July. Um, and if the need is still there, we do have the ability to continue offering them. And we know that SACRT has also been providing free rides for students. Can you tell us more about that program? Yeah, our Ride Free RT program, we really want to make sure students are aware that this is available. It's for transitional kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. You can ride our bus, our Smart Ride On Demand Micro Transit Service, or Light, ride, light Rail Trains for free. Um, really, all they need, if they have any kind of student ID or even one of our Ride Free RT cards, which now that schools are reopening, we made sure schools have those. Our public libraries have them as well, and also at our customer service and sales center. So if you lost your student ID or you don't have one, there's many opportunities to be able to get those and ride free. Yeah, that is great to know because a lot of people could use the service. Now, I know that during the pandemic, SACRT was affected just like everybody else. You had to change some routes or scale back on some of your operations. So tell me about what's going on now as we start to see more counties shift into um, different tiers, as more businesses begin to reopen. What is SAC RT doing to roll into the new time, the new era of post COVID, hopefully? We have. Yeah, we've been really busy, actually. Um, one thing I want to make sure everyone's aware of is we're actually offering free rides every Wednesday to hiring opportunities. Um, downtown Sacramento, Midtown, um, they are all working together for hiring opportunities. We've also expanded our Smart Ride On Demand Microtransit service. Um, we just expanded three zones in April, and we're actually adding a new zone in Elk Grove and expanding another one in July. So a lot going on there. We're also really busy working on our light rail modernization, which means all new light rail trains okay. um, for our system. And so that's really busy. We're, we're moving forward or helping move the region forward. Yeah, are you seeing a lot of the ridership start to come back now? We are. We really saw still about uh, 40 to 45 percent of ridership, which was good compared to other transit agencies across the country. But we are starting to see more riders come back. We want to make sure to remind them that masks are required. We are cleaning and sanitizing every day. Um, and really, transit is, is there for you as you're ready to come back to work and move to more places throughout the region. Very good, Jessica. Thank you so much for sharing this information with our viewers today. And if you want to book your free vaccine-related ride, you can visit SACRT.com.